What's going on, guys? Welcome to another intermediate Swiss draft league. Intermediate, intermediate. That's the key word here. I don't why wanna, do they call it intermediate? I don't, why don't why don't why do they call you intermediate? They don't. Yeah, they do. That's a good one. I went O2 at my pre-release. I then dropped and went to a concert. What 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 concert? Haji Galashi, what concert did you go to? Inquiring minds want to know. Haven't played it enough, but I like draft more than sealed, but the guilds don't feel balanced. Oh, interesting. Um I like all draft formats more than sealed formats, no matter what they are. What if the what if it's the seal of doom? Um, well, I already like the draft more, so... Oh, right, that, that doesn't work. That, I think it's just even more emphasized at that point. What are we... God damn, really? Come on. You're really good at opening that card. I'm really good at opening this. I also had it in one of my one of my two seals. My god, Ooh. man. Look how red we are today because of you. Why well, you gotta red things up? I don't know. Straight, just the way straighten I Straighten out here. Straighten out here. Let me just get out of the way. Move, hair, get out the way. Color intensity. Alright, that's better. You marvelous unicorn. I make the red man red. Do you? I think we're just taking this guy. This guy's pretty bonkers in this set. We can also take Deadly Visit. It does destroy any creature. Yeah, that's good. But this guy gives float and it's an uncommon. I think this guy's better than Luminous Bonds. Luminous Bonds is a fairly repeatable effect. You can find that in other cards. Um, this guy, when you just got 4-4 four, four of Celestia guys or 5-2 Mentor guys, is pretty insane. Plus, it's uncommon now, so you're very, very... You're, you're less likely to uh, to find more. Oh, Chromatic Lantern. Hmm. Hmm. All aboard the five-color train. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery target creature and controls can't block this turn. This reminds me of a uh, on crop crasher. Hmm. No lantern again. There it is. There it is. Um. I might just take this and try the five color strat. Think they'll make a targeted removal spell that ignores hexproof? No. Um. Maybe. Maybe. That would be nice. I said no because I thought it was too... Um, like, as far as rules go, that's a little com a little complex. But saying you may... I don't know, because it gets around a fundamental rule. I'd have to look at the ruling for Hexproof. Um, I'm going to take this. If anyone wants to donate to, to to pay for this draft or to, to, to supplement it a little bit, because I don't think we're going to do extremely well with it, um, feel free <laughs> so that we don't... Until end of turn, all creatures lose hexproof. Destroy target creature. Or do like that? I think, no, because before it starts resolving, you have to announce your targets. Oh, true. You know? So, like, you wouldn't even be able to target the creature until the spell started resolving. Artful takedown, flower, or is it guild gate? Like, Flower could be good because we could just get one of our two lands, which is kind of like fixing the Guild Gate. I'm just going to take the Guild Gate. Oh, Mission Briefing. What's that card going for? I think it's like three. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I bet I'm totally wrong. Unless it's like 85 cents now. Unless it's like, oh god, it's getting worse. You just passed it. Did I? 70 cents. That's not terrible. Uh, Celestia Guildgate. Nothing, it is poo. That's helpful. <laughs> Shit packs bucks. Hodge Gulashi, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Alright, now I feel now I feel less bad about this draft. So now we are going full on five color with the Chromatic Lantern and the Celestia Gate. I think we're going to save our... Um... Wow. This is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. No action is needed. Type Presidential Alert. Okay, well, so the Presidential Alert is in effect now. That's pretty hilarious. I bet everyone just got that. That's kind of that's kind of hilarious. I guarantee everyone in the chat just got that message. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we could all share this moment together, guys.
do it. <laughs> John, are you excited, buddy? Only like 19 days, right? What's the pick here? Gateway Plaza or Demir Guildgate? I think I'd rather have Demir Guildgate. Really? Yeah. Just because of the... Oh, Boros Guildgate. Oh, Gatekeeper Gargoyle is actually exactly what we wanted for this deck. That's pretty sick. I'm going to take it. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, destroy a creature. Oh, this guy's good too. Whenever if you, if you have, as long as you control a gate, he's get he's getting the bonus. So it would have been worth something like target players creatures as a text for destroy a creature they control. Yeah, but it, at the point at the point you're saying destroy a creature they control, you don't even need to remove their hexproof. You know what I mean? Because you're not shoot, you're not targeting at that point. So like the the they lose hexproof actually doesn't matter. So you could just say choose a creature. It, it'd have to be Council's Judgment like card where you're like choose a creature, destroy that creature. I want to take the Garrison Sergeant. I think. Uh oh, another Guildgate or a Gateway Plaza. Hmm. Guildgates all day, baby. <laughs> is it just Guild? I mean, Gateway Plaza is a gate, you know. Oh. Oh, you didn't know that. No. Then, then I would take it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was wondering why I'm like, why aren't we ever taking these, though? Because they're good. Isn't yeah, that's, what's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what makes it different from, like, Rupture Spire. Here's the only problem with this deck. That we're never going to play on curve? Well, well, that. And we have to get playables still. Yep. But, yeah, we want to take lands really highly. We have tons of playables. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Ornery Goblin, Passwall Adapter, Burglar Rat. I kind of want the Burglar Rat, just because I want to be able to... Uh, I want to make them discard things, because the more cards they discard, the fewer good cards they have against us. And that's important to me. Also, things like Locks and On Restore to help us survive is uh, is nice. I would have just went because he burgles, and that would have been a good enough reason to pick him. That That's actually not a bad reason. I agree with you. The Burgling is nice. I'll take this guy. I don't know if we're going to play it or not. What's that guy even do? Uh, he's a 6-5 for, for 7. But when it enters the battlefield, it uses a 1 damage to an opponent for each creature in your graveyard. Okay. 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 Wall of Mist, maybe? This definitely seems like a dirtling. Yeah, we're going to be side. dirtling, so I'm going to take the Wall of Mist. Alright, not too bad. we got 5 gates. This is basically like... Uh, this is basically like Cube Draft, where we're just taking all the... I work at a school where we take students' phones if they're not in their lockers. I wonder how many phones just got... Wow, that's hilarious. Oh, Narco Amoeba. Open Gruesome Menagerie and Narco Amoeba, guys. We are on... Uh... Didn't we just do this yesterday? Yes. I'm pretty sure those are both the picks. Like, we got that I, and that. I, yeah, I think you're right, actually. Luminous Bonds? Gate Deck Hype. OMG Zara, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. We have Price, but we also have Statue, which is also very good. It's also an instant. Destroy a creature, an artifact, or an enchantment, which is pretty versatile. I'm actually frustrated and I'm literally seconds late. What? With what? Are they sold out? Oh, wow. Well, then. Whee. I like the, I like this emotional roller coaster, Matthew. Where we were like, I'm not buying that. That's just a waste of, waste of money. And now you're like, dang it, I'm seconds late to have bought it. The gate watch. We like watching gates. We approve of this draft. I don't I don't believe that that's actually the gate watch for a second. I'll just take price. Beacon bolt. Uh, deals damage to target creature with a number of gates you control. No, just kidding. Uh, a number of instant or sorceries you own in exile. Eh. I'm just going to take big fat 6-6 six, six boy. Mm -hmm. And by 6-6, six, six, I mean 6 drop. That is a 5-4. So similar but different. Yikes. That's a good one. Whenever this guy attacks, he deals one damage to each creature of each creature defending player controls? That's also a good one. I don't think it's as good, though. Hmm. I mean, Bounty is, is good. 5-5 five, 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 five with Vigilance. That... Post pseudo draft snip snip bucks. Wow, you guys have been wow, this is this is a great idea. I uh 
clearly should just draft all the the colors next uh for uh, every draft ever now i don't this is actually a tough pick i think question for mike what's your favorite candy um my favorite dingleberries candy? no it's dingleberries i think it's this but i'm like real close Probably to taking almond this joy. Guy. i really like an almond joy oh Actually, Winslow is better for the X One One counter. Yeah, it's definitely Amara here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's an easy pick. No gates here, unfortunately. Oh, Rosemain Centaur. All right, that's good. That's good, boy. Is it Guild Gate? It's not the gate we want. Unfortunately, there's only going to be one Guild Gate in every pack as well. I think it's Boros Locket here. It helps cast a lot of our white and red cards. And it looks like we're predominantly white red splashing like every other color. <laughs> oh, another gatekeeper gargoyle. Oh, that's real good. What is Swarm Guild Mage? Uh one plus one plus oh and menace, that's really strong, and just gaining two life. Maybe that no, it's gotta be the gar the gatekeeper gargoyle, right? Yeah, I think it's the gargoyle. Especially in this deck, Celestia Guildgate is probably the pick. I, I this card's actually not great. <laughs> 3-1 for 2. When enters the battlefield, put the top 3 cards of your library in your graveyard. You may put a land from your graveyard on top of your library. If you could put it in your hand, that'd be better. Like, Yeah, on top of the library makes it so much worse. On turn 2, what's the worst you're going to do? Is draw a land? Maybe? Infinite Gate. Oh, I like I like Generous Stray here. But I also like Celestial Locket. Hmm. Lafof, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Always a pleasure to see a draft boy. You okay? You doing alright? You're drinking weird. I'm just drinking up my coffee. We have six guild gates right now. I think it's actually stray here. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. It's like we got the same pack. I'll take a Celestia Locket here. Crushing Canopy? Yeah, I want that for the sideboard. This is the one deck I would actually consider playing this just because we want to stay alive. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I think it's probably better than a third locket. Siege Worm? I don't think we're going to have... I think we have enough big guys and we're probably not going to be able to cast the Siege Worm that efficiently. Alright, we'll just keep taking these guys, I guess. And I'll take a Guardian. Okay, we'll get a Siege Worm anyway. This deck is very interesting. Deafening. Oh, that card's great. Three damage to each creature or the creatures you control gain lifelink. Or both. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know you could pick both on that card. Or or we have uh, Lightning Helix and plus two, plus two. I think it's this. Yeah. Seems good. What's Peacemaker? Oh, the uh, is that the 3-3 three, three that we just added? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I'm going to take the Definite Clarion. That's pretty nutso. Nutso McButtso. You may look at the top card of your library. You may play the top card. You can't play cards from your hand. Yep, that's garbage. This card could be good. I really do want Circuitous Route in here. I think it's really hard to cast that card. This card? Yeah. Even with all our guild gates? If we get any of these, it's bad. I like that guy better. Oh, uh, this guy is pretty good. I don't know if it's the kitty cat because we're like probably not going to want to be playing that many. I think it's probably Plague Crafter. Yes! That's what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. That's perfect. Mike, how do you like your coffee? Honesty stream. Honest, honest answers only. With a good amount of cream. That's about it. Guys, we're doing it. We're going Guild Summit into Circuitous Route. What does that do? Uh, whenever a battlefield is going to be tapping number of untapped guilds you control, draw a card. And then whenever a guild enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Pretty good. Oh, that's pretty incredible. Oh, we're having a good time. Having a good time. Newsflash, Mike is a creamy boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, jeez. I like Sinister Sabotage, but I don't think we're going to be wanting to cast it. I'm just going to take the Golgari Guildgate for obvious reasons. Oh, like, we already have 25 We playables. have 25 playables, so I don't like think we actually need... Like, unless it's like a super premium card, I'm probably just going to take a Guildgate. Makes sense. This guy's probably closer to here. One of these guys can be here. And I think our curve is actually better. We also don't have a Boris Guildgate. I like having Guildgates of different colors to search out. We do need more removal, but I don't think we're like... Watcher in the Mist seems good. Double blue, though. I guess it's actually fine. We have three blue guild gates. Yeah, it actually is pretty good. We do have to make some cuts here, though. Creeping chill. This will be our third Celestia guild gate. I think we could pretty easily cut Hammer Dropper. Really? You don't like it with our our three our one through flo floaty boy? Oh, that is pretty good. That's a con I'd rather just cut this two four, but it's probably just dimmer locket. Yeah, I'm gonna take the flower. Crawl forager, Boros guild gate. I guess we just take the Boros guild gate. Or the Crawl Forgers. Actually, I kind of like the lifelink here. Not the lifelink, but the, uh, the, the life, life gain. gain. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, we. I think we have enough guild gates here. Kitty Cat came back. The Kitty Cat can... What? Kitty Cat can what? I don't know. Okay. I just wanted to say the kitty cat game. Oh, you said it. All right. Wave is busted? What's wave? I don't know what you're saying right now. I don't understand what you're saying. This is 27 cards. Yikes. Let's take one of these generous strays out. Is the wave the one that deals one damage to the creatures? Yeah, we just got the double blue card. That's what I was thinking. <clears throat> I don't like Siege Worm either. I just don't think we have enough ways to pump it out and we have enough big things on the on the end. Playing this guy and then just sacrificing like Burglar Rat or Generous Stray is pretty good. Maybe we do. I don't actually. I don't love this guy. Like we have other big guys, and this guy's pretty pretty sensitive. He's a pretty sensitive boy. I also think we can cut one of these. Sort by color. <laughs> wow, three, 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 and then these are all red. So three, and then three. So we're definitely heaviest of white. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white cards. Six green cards and three of everything else uh, so I think we can keep the Celestia Locket we can cut the Boros Locket and probably play one other thing maybe Crawl Forge just for the lifelink probably uh, I don't think the Lockets are that great but they do help fix and they do ramp us to five and we just put another five mana card in here so this guy's probably going to be like that I think this is actually this deck looks pretty sweet all right, sort by color. Now we have green, black, green, blue, blue, blue. All 
All right, so we have three blue cards and one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we definitely want one of each basic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six white. I'm okay with that as well. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four black. Yeah, this actually seems great. That actually seems perfect. This deck actually seems pretty good. Wall of Mist. Get by my Wall of Mist. This Rock Charger is going to be MVP with like all the 4-4s four that can just get in there. Six. This guy attacks for 6 in the air. <laughs> Not signed in. That's pretty funny. Twenty-five cents that you will get in three months toward this draft. Yeah, that's that's about right. Would you like to play first? Yes, yes. Uh, this hand seems great. Oh, guild summit on turn three, buddy. Or we can actually play on turn four and uh, hopefully draw some more gate. Draw a guild on then on turn four and play it right afterward. Oh man, we're living the dream. We could have waited to to play it on turn three after this, but a, a we might not have a blue source, and b most of our blue sources are guilds anyway, so we're not really going to get around playing a guild. Many cookies. I was going to say I'm a fan of your name, but I don't think that conveys what I wanted to. Oh, Celestia walking, okie dokie. Yeah, I think we're just going gain three. We're all, we're both going to gain four, but I have a three three out of the deal, so whatever. Snooky Bookies. Everybody knows that. Oh, uh, it's a Snooshy Boochies. It's from it's oh, it's a Kevin right. Smith reference. I got you. Are they gonna put this forest on top, you think? No. No, see? So next turn we can play Rosemane Centaur if if nothing else. I like that we can play this on the turn that we get another guild and we can just draw a card. I'm not gonna block. Your guy is worse than my guy. Who is Kevin Smith? He's a guy I went to college with. Just kidding, I didn't go to college with Kevin Smith. It's going to be a gate, and I'm going to feel real bad about not playing this immediately. You ready? Kevin Smith said that in mall raps. That's 100% confirmed. Ooh, that's a, oh, that's going to be a good one. Lifelink to all my lifey boys. Lifelink to all my lifey boys. Well, they are going to be lifey boys once I get the lifelink. Don't you talk? You want to talk about my lifey boys? Mm -hmm. It's your lifey boy. I hate Clerks. Wow, Clerks is literally one of my favorite movies of all time. It is a movie that made me want to make movies. That is funny you would say that, you monster. Uh, I think we just get in there with, uh, we actually don't have a black man on, that's pretty sad. I'm sad, how about you? Are you sad? I want to get this down in case we draw a circuitous route, and then we can just, uh, it's to put two lands in and play, draw two cards. Ooh, they didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. My what? Your ruse, your cunning attempt to trick me. What's up, Smoke Doke? Oh, I see. Now it's a 2 2. I'll just block here if you want to attack. I'll just. Circuitous route? Everything's coming up Millhouse? Nothing's coming up Millhouse. Uh... The Millhouse is empty. <laughs> Welcome to my Millhouse. Man, where's more gates when you get them? Get in there for dose. Oh, this is a good trade. Sure, two for one. Where are more gates than any of them? If we draw a gate next turn, this guy becomes a... Two of these? Weird. Uh, 
I guess I guess it's good for undergrowth. It's clearly an undergrowth oh, format. Oh, we did it. So we hit a black for this. This guy's now a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, it enters the battlefield with plus one plus one gate, so we want to play the gate first. And then we're going to draw. Oh, do we just want to wait? I think so. Just for making a 6-6, six, six, though? 5-5 five, is still pretty good. Yeah. I'd rather just get 5 damage in than wait a whole turn and get 6 damage in. Plus, we're drawing another card off this one. Come on. You guys said wait. We do have a second one of these in, in in the deck. Second one of these. I went to the wrong artifact. Looks like you got the wrong fact. Fake news. Fact you. Fact you? Mm -hmm. A 6-6 six, six blocks a 5-5. Five, five. That's just that's true. He's right. He was right, you know. Well, see, it died anyway, so it doesn't even matter. That's a two for one, just to be clear. Oh, that makes this guy a lot better. Let's draw a card first. Oh, that's good, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty sure we're just playing four four, so we can favorably block this guy if they want to come at us. Come at me, bro. I'll gain one. It's fine. I don't want you lifelinking all over me. If you waited a turn, your 3-3 would have died instead. What does that mean? That doesn't make any sense. How would that have worked? Oh, because they would have just used it instead of this being on board? Yeah, I don't know if they would have used it, to be honest with you. Um, can we crack this this turn? 1, 2, 3. If we, if we play this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. We're real close, though. We have all four right here. We just don't have another white, unfortunately. Well, you need another white. To crack this. Can't you just pay green, 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 white? Yes, but I want to use the white for to play this. I'm not going to oh, not okay. play a card when I have it. And... You want to draw cards when you don't have anything else to do. I have tons of other things to do. So, get wrecked. Get wrecked, he says. He did say. Let's get in there. You got a pump spell? You just going to block? Can block and play a pump spell? What are you doing right now? Plus three? Sure. That's a two for one. That's a two for. They're at 26, but we have four right here, so that's good. They're going to surveil. Get this guy back. Yep. Having a good time. All right, so I have no cards in hand. Well, I guess they're going to get this guy back. Yeah, that X cost guy would be very, very good right now. I mean, on the right side, we have Celestia Locket, uh, which we can crack next turn. One, two, three, four, and we'd still have four mana left over to do whatever with. Oh, God, what is this? I guess it doesn't matter. We have Price of Fame. Reveal the uh, top X cards where X is the number of creature cards in your grave, and you put a green permanent card. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Six cards revealed. Siege Worm. Uh, cost X or less. Alright, sweet. So literally nothing. Sweet. I can kill this guy now and not care. Oh, did you just lick my knee? Lick his knee. How rude. Is that rude? I feel like that's, uh, affection. Um, I don't, I don't think Chromatic Lantern is that frustrating because, like, what are, what's your other option? Like, how else could you do it? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna kill this guy. Uh, black. Thank you. Oh, and we get to surveil. Crash, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I jokingly considered leaving Blood Operative in the graveyard. Guess I should have. Um, I'm gonna keep the Guild Gate on top just because we can play it. So I'll put this in the graveyard. Put this on top. Um, we have no reason not to just crack the, crack this right now. And we can just play Guildgate. Yeah, so if they left the Blood Operative in the graveyard, 
Uh, they would have had seven, so they could have hit the Siege Worm. Yeah, but there's no way that's right. Like, I mean, you just want Blood Operative in hand. It's just a better card to have. Also, Generous Stray blocks it pretty well, and Wall of Mist blocks this guy. So we actually have a pretty solid hand for... Uh... We're just going to draw the six mana gate. Keep the gate, keep gate for card, keep gate for card what? It's like, look, you can see the evolution of keep gate. Oh, Crawl Swarm. Oh, that's sad. Rats off to you. We could actually Clarion here. I don't know if that's good, though. I don't want to lose these two for these three, but maybe? gonna be a gate ready oh that's good that's not bad one two three for clarion and then we can play one two for imara they have no cards in hand that is correct God, i really don't want to lose this but He has zero cards. I know. Buddy, I know it. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. One, two, three, four. So if we get another gargoyle, what is it? A seven, seven? That's pretty, pretty good. I mean, I wish I played this after, but I want to. I guess we don't actually have to blow it up, though. That's the thing. Like, we have blockers for everything. We can block here, block here, block here. And we can always play Wall of Mist now, because it's not going to matter. But keeping, like, if they, if they, and if they draw anything else, like, we can play Craft or Burglar at. Like if our if our end game is to blow up the whole board, like trading here is fine. Like it's whatever. But I am probably gonna attack with both of these, because at worst, like we get three points in, and then we trade with the with here, which is fine. Or if they trade here, it's even better, because then we get to keep this guy. Yep, they're just gonna take it. That's fine. So we take four, they take four. Burglar craft. Where, what the cra Oh, yeah, we're, we'll burglar craft him. Always be burglar craft him. Every day I do. Every day I burglar craft. Also, we have... Um, you can't do that every day. Every, I'll, every day I do. No. This is an interesting attack because... I don't know why you would do such a thing. Also, we can give all our guys lifelink and attack, too, which is not, not bad. So, no bait. Let's draw a card. Give me that 6-6. Six, six. Oh, biscuits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have 6 lands in 14 cards. So, a little less than half. They just kept a card in hand. I guess we rat here. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now we're just going to play our... Now we're not even going to wipe the board. We're just going to play all our things. Uh, Sacrifice Burglar Rat. I think you are the weakest link, unfortunately. Yeah, being able to gain lifelink next turn is 
pretty OP. What do we get? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We gain ten life. It's not the bad. Sure. Also good. Also good. Seems like a good turn to gain a bunch of life. Uh, we're actually just going to attack with these two now. It's one less damage, but we make a guy. So, cool story. Uh, we'll just W this. W, 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 W. White, W. Pretty sure we can't actually lose this game, but I could be wrong. Oh, I don't even worry about subtle. I just attack with two guys. Oh, they're holding back now. Hold them back. Hold them back. It's going to be a gate. We're going to play it. We're going to draw the gargoyle and we're going to play that. You ready? Mm -hmm. hmm. Seems like we drew a force. Oh, yeah. We could have just... Yeah, we actually... That was that was bad. We could have actually just convoked with this and then dealt the extra point. So... And, yeah, we just drew a forest instead, unfortunately. Um, If we alpha, do we win? How would I go about paying you in gum? Do I even show them this? I don't need the life, really. Like, if they block these two, right? They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, but they go to 1. <sighs> yeah, this is probably the best. I'm going to give this to you, because if you want to block, I want you to block with the swarm. And we gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We gain 14. That's pretty good. Save Clarion from one of nine, 9 for 2 ourselves. Yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. This deck seems pretty spicy. I'm not sure if it's going to win all the games. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but I like what I'm seeing right now. Yep, that makes sense. You have to block with this guy, right? Because A, you're dead if you don't. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you only gain 3, so you'd be exact. Yep, that's what I figured would happen. Go to, go to dose. We are at 26. Seems good. And we didn't really have to show them this, but like... I, I'd rather... I mean, like... I don't know. Why are we drawing so many lands in our... How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven. We have eight lands that draw us cards with, with Guild Summit out. We only had one flyer that we cared about. This guy would have been pretty easy to play. I'm pretty sure this guy just belongs in the deck. Maybe. I can consider just playing this as a 21st card even. Or a 41st card even. Is anything not good? Everything else is pretty good. I can see this guy just being not great. Yeah. A guild summon? What's summon fog? What are you saying right now? What are you, what are you saying right now? Summon the fog of the guilds. Summon the fog of the guilds. Oh. Really? No lands, huh? Okay. That's cool. Uh, keep it. I'll put you on the bottom. We don't have another dude to sacrifice, and I don't really want to. Thank you. Harmon, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. have the welcome back cotter uh theme playing welcome back your dreams 
I should just play that every time someone resubs. That should be the resub. That should be the resub welcome back. I get you demonetized though. It probably maybe. I don't know. Demonetized. Yep, that's gonna it's probably accurate. I don't know what to play here. Probably this guy. Actually, if we can just if we can just clarion them. Did they put a land on top? I think they did. Golgari Guildgate. Golgari! Guild Summit Fog Deck? Summit? Guild Summit? What is a Guild Summit? Is that a card? What's happening right now? They didn't play their gate? What's going on? Well, I'm just going to play Lantern here. And then next turn, we're going to draw the... Uh, we're going to draw the, the card that lets us tap our guilds. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna ambush us. I hope they play another guy so we can we can do the thing. Are you ready? Can you do it? I want a three for one them. That's all I want in life. That's all I want. Da, 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 da. That's all I want. They didn't play anything else. I like that you did, uh, because your kiss is on my list version. I still think, I still think we're doing this. Yeah, probably. Because next time we can just play one, or we two, could ramp. We could ramp and do this. One, two, three, four, five. Like, because we can go one, two, three, play this, and then have enough for one, two, three, this, then we have one, two, three, right? Like, yeah, I think that's better. And because I don't want to take another six, so we're definitely doing this. And then next time we just can play one, two, three, three, six, six rather, six, six floaty boy, and they have no dudes on board. Interesting. Probably got like a Molder Hulk in hand. Your mother's got a Molder Hulk in hand. Hmm. Yeah, you should probably think about that one. Let me think about it. Okay. I'll get back to you. Okay, get back to me. It's your 6-6 six, six boy. So this guy is uh, just going to get deadly. I don't know what the card is called, but they're just going to play the five mana and kill it. Yeah, it's going to have a deadly visit. We knew. We knew. But this card, like we now we have two cards on board, which is nice. If we draw the guild recruit card, we can actually play pay three, draw three, and tap these guilds, which is pretty insane. Oh, I thought that was it for a second. One, Not two. the blue card you were looking for. That's correct. It is not. I'm just going to play route here, though. One, two, three, four. And we're going to get a gateway plaza. And we'll get an is it guild gate. And then we will pay the one for obvious reasons. And then we can go. Oh, that's not going to do it. Blue. And we'll just play wall. And we have one card, but we actually have three cards. So we basically have the same number of cards, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands to their six. Seems good. Uh oh. No, that's. That's something. Oh, they gave my guy some buff buff. Okay, well, now we're just going to draw two here. Uh, white, 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 white. Crack. Use the four mana that I got in the pool. There you go. <laughs> we are good at this game. And we get to surveil here. Alright. I'm game. This is surveil format. You're right. Oh, bounty of might? God, I don't want either of these. Bottom, boy. 2 4 could be good enough, though. Just as a guy to put down next turn. I wish this was counters. Oh, God, if this was counters. Wow. It's greedy, right? Yeah. It's just not exciting. I don't care about that guy. I think there's better cards we can hit. Bounty of game bounty of bounty of might does win games, but um we also need creatures for that to happen, so unfortunately without any creatures it's not as good as you can imagine. Get rid of that gatekeeper gargoyle. I dare you. I dare you. 
He did. He did. It's true. Magic is a fun game. Give me that card where I can draw like not. Come on, stop it with these gates. Stop it with these Bill Gates. Bill, 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 Bill. It's the wrong Bill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. It's eleven lands. So we have six lands in our twenty-card deck. That's less than a third. Yeah, that's fine. I'll discard a land. Look at all of my gates. If we play a gate, we can. Act oh wow! All right. Well, this is something. I think we're dead. We're not dead. We're just pretty dead. No, we're not that dead. Let's play the land. So if we go one, two, three for the gate card, we can actually go tap, 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 draw four. Oh, I see. You have a plus three, plus three as one of your last two cards. I'm ready for it. Come on. Come on, buddy. We have no cards in hand, man. Just do it. Yeah. Just lucky, do it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, like this is a an unreasonable amount of lands to draw. Wow, okay. Well, I guess we weren't winning that game. The deck's like, you need all 16, 17 lands, right? And I was like, no, not really, but thank I'd you. I'd prefer if we didn't. <sighs> this guy just actually blocks their stuff pretty well. It might be better than Locket, just because Locket draws you two, but this guy just draws you one. And it blocks one of their guys. True. Yeah, I like that better. Cut a land out of spite. Yeah, this is keepable. I feel like the last hand would have been... The last game would have been amazing if we drew, like, two or three less lands in the entire game. Oh, they went to five? Ooh, Gross. Are we gonna are we gonna one o this this bad boy? One o. Tune in next time on Dragon Ball Z. Suppose I do. What will I see? Uh, that's that would be known as a spoiler, dear Michael. Dear Michael. What was that jingle you just that did? That's my song. Dear Michael. I don't think it's very good, I'm going to be honest with you. Dear Michael. Stop, stop spinning that thing. It's really I'm grating. <laughs> it's just like spinning this coffee cup on the on the table, on the desk. I'm just like, oh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Look, I could just block his 3-1 all day now. What a generous stray. Dear Michael. This is actually a good turn. We can go lantern into wall. Man. What a turn. You don't think that's good? No, I think that is a play. But, I, like, it's not that great of a turn, though. I need you to calm down. And he, that's such, it's such efficient. I get I get really excited about efficient mana use, man. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Fucking like nerd alert over here. Dear Michael. Why were you saying that? <laughs> so weird, man. Did you, when, when you were born, did you think your mother knew how weird you were going to turn out to be? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Okay, well, that answer's really all over the place, isn't it? Isn't it? Dear Michael. <laughs> this is how memes are born. Oh, all right, well. Uh-oh, what are you doing here? You going to deadweight my cat? No, that's a green. Oh, they're going to flower. Flower for a forest? That's interesting. Do they even have a white in here? I doubt it. Dear Michael, what are you doing with your life? One, two, three, four, five. We can just play this guy, I guess. Three, three with double strike seems pretty good. Let's look at this weird lizard guy. This guy looks like something out of like a 1950s Roy Harryhausen movie. I'm going to have to show you what that is because you don't know. I'm going to spell it wrong, but... I had a good, pretty good guess as to what you meant by that. Really? Yeah. I'd be impressed if you did. It was like these movies. Right, yeah. Yeah, they're very good. They're super entertaining for what they were. 
Um, or we can just play Loxon on Restore. 3-3 three, three or 3-4. Three, he's still alive? No, no, he's not. Yeah, Clash of the Titans, Sinbad's Voyage, Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. Tons of... Uh, um, he did some UFO movies, too. Like, Roy Harryhausen's pretty amazing. You know, they remade Clash of the Titans. Uh-huh. I heard it wasn't very they good. They sure did. I can't tell which one it is. This guy's just better on the attack. I'm just going to play this guy. Dear Michael. Was it Dear Michael? Mm -hmm. It sounds like a really weird jingle. Dear Michael. Nah, we're just going to play this guy. Like, if they want to use a removal spell on this guy, that's fine. We still have 3-4. Um... We don't need the life right now, so I'd rather the potential to... This guy also attacks better. Like, they could double block with these two for this guy. And it's just not great for us. Mitchell, can you hear me? Yeah, it's fine. 5-3 Vigilance. Oh, wow. Didn't even... It didn't even get in there. You know why? Because it sucks. That's why. Because it sucks, it sucks, it sucks real bad. That's good. This guy's worse when they have this stupid kitty cat on the board, but... Meow. Meow is right. They have two cards, we have two cards. I think our board is better. It can't be blocked by more than one creature. is actually pretty frustrating, but I guess we can trade... You also play Ledge Guardian this turn. Ledge Guardian? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mean, yeah, that's not close. Ledev Guardian. Whatever. Ledev. Uh, one, two. We have five, so we can we can keep this guy up. But then if they kill this, it's not great. I don't know. I don't think we need to play this guy this turn. He's not doing any favors for us. All Boros are bastards. Wow, this is aggressive. Here I feel go. like this Boros is... Yep. Dead weight on that guy. He's still alive. He is still alive. Hey, yeah, yeah. One opera stream, Buck. Is that... Who was doing the opera, though? Was it me or Mike? I can't tell. I'm still alive. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised at how abrasive his Pearl Jam is. His Eddie Vedder is. I'll just take six here. I'm not in the mood to use any of these guys as resources, so. Is something wrong, he said. Oh, that's interesting. You know what we could do? We could play Clarion. That would kill these two guys. And then we can play Plague Crafter. To make them sack their last guy. We could do that. We can also give our guys lifelink to attack this turn. Oh, too many choices. To be? Is that the question? I'm just going to alpha here. Me, sir. Me, sir. Who answers? Who answers? Oh, interesting. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, my God. The Plague Crafter just got so much better. Oh, we don't actually have to clear in anymore. That's interesting. I guess we, I think we just get rid of Plague Crafter, right? No, maybe not, right? Let's get rid of the O5. One, two, three. So they're going to draw two cards. Just just do it. And one of them might be a rat, so they might make do a discard our clan. <laughs> do it. Yep. Crack them. Crack them's McCardums. That was my name in prison. What do you serve for? Fraud. Hmm. Yeah. They have four cards. They didn't draw any 
okay, here we go. We found some playables. Yeah, that's fine. I'll trade with my... You can have my Plague Caller. This guy's only a 5-5 five five now. That's pretty sad, right? Still pretty good. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, all of our guys survive Clarion now, which is pretty sick. I'm a fan. I think we just won this game. What's this going to be? Harvest Spider? <sighs> like you no, do. it's a hatchery spider. And they get a 1. And the, wow, they get a 6-4 out of it. Yep. All right. So I think we just won this game. Turned into cool 5-7. Yeah. I has a sadness. Well. You can attack another 5-7 and then Clarion. Still feels pretty bad. Yeah, it's not great. That was like the perfect card to have. Ah, it's so bad, dude. So close. Alpha and Clarion wouldn't work because they could just block this guy with this guy. Um take five and then I mean it might work but I feel like they could see through that if we could draw a bounty I'd be real I'd be real grateful for it I'm just gonna take six here <sighs> sure Cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cards. Great. Yep, that was pretty backbreaking. <laughs> I literally just claimed maybe we... Wow, I feel like we won this game. Felt super far ahead, but then I guess 7 drop into 6 drop for free is... Uh... Pretty good. Yep, apparently that's pretty good. Followed by removal spell. Getting aggressive. Well, we can't. I mean, we have no recourse. Like, we can't double block this guy. So, I'm just going to take it and go to one. If you have the pump spell, kill me. Yep. And of course you do. Never don't have everything. We did have a bunch of guild gates, though, so that's pretty cool. Yep. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just f four lands in a row. Fantastic. Awesome distribution, Magic. Awesome distribution. Super infuriating. I mean, I don't know. Like, we were in great shape up until the point where they had uh, Bomb Rare into Six Drop. Like, they basically got 13 mana worth of value for seven mana. That's good value. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Keep. Sand looks pretty good. You forgot to put the Watcher in? What does that mean? Last time I was watching an old Vintage Cube draft you did where you were trying to natural or progenitus and it was always in your hand along with the tunnel. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. There's just times like that where I'm just like, this is not fun. Like, like there's so many other cards we could have drawn that just win us the game. Maybe not even win us the game, but, like, put us in a position to win the game. You know what I mean? I think it's just this guy. We want to hit another land. If we hit any untapped land, we get to uh, play five drop. 
And we can always play this next turn, but there's no four drop that we want to be playing with this. Sure. If seven cards. Just getting rid of the rat. Are we playing the mirror match? Is this like are we just playing the Yeah, okay. Fine. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be hilarious if it's like the literal five color gate mirror match. I mean we have chromatic lantern, so it trumps all, but Oh, okay, it's just mono burglar rats dot deck over here. Mono rats. Yeah, five, five. Six, six. Six, six seems good. They have two rats, we have a cat. That's actually hilarious. He is that guy from FNM. Oh, that was... How nice. Darude. That was... That was Darude. That was a sandstorm. Did you know that? Do you know about sandstorm? Deedle deedle dee. Deedle dee. All right, we're gonna do it again. Actually, one, two, three, four. This is real tempting. I really think we just want the. I think I like. I don't want to get greedy. Six six is big enough. It doesn't need to be an eight eight. We also give them a chance to untap or do other things. So. Oh, yeah, we're not attacking here. Good match, man. Thought your name sounded familiar. Many cookies. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the bits. Yeah, unfortunately, like, I I mean, like, I feel like we were in good shape, but we couldn't beat seven drop into six drop for free. Like, just pretty, uh... <sighs> Can we just... Didn't they just not have it every single time? I don't understand. Hmm. I mean, we got to Clarion at some point, but, like, is that one, two, three, four? And we also, if we play the island and we route, we only have four mana, not five. I think it's important to get this guy down, though. Sure. They have five cards in their hand. We have two. I guess these are all one card, right? Here we go. Here we go. Another Muse Drake. Demir Locket. All right. It's going to be fine. Yeah, that was uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Not going to... Not going to... Not going to... Oh, my God. Wow. Jeez Louise. Why not ruin the deck, wipe the board? I don't know what that means. Yikes. Uh, let's get to guild gates. Uh, Gateway Plaza and Golgari guild gate. One try harder buck. We're going to need it. We're going to need it. I mean, they have two cards now. We have... A board wipe, so that's pretty good. Why not thin the deck, wipe the board? Um, I don't. We don't have to wipe the board yet. We're only taking one a turn. We could much easier wait for them to commit more things to the board before we play Deft and Clarion. Like, there's just no reason to do it. See, now I'm tempted to because we have Generous Stray, so we could play this and then play Generous Stray. I don't know if that's better than waiting, though. Like, we're under no pressure here. I mean, I'm not super like... I mean, it's not a matter of, like, needing a break from magic. It's just these these two matches have been... pretty non-stop in terms of... 
I think they're, they're going to draw two, though, here. Whatever. I'll give them a chance to play something else. Because, like, we're not... Our mana is not an issue, so we can actually play this and this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then maybe something else, so... Here's 100 I'm sorry bits. <laughs> yeah, like, they're going to refill their hands, so we might as well wait to uh, clear in, because I don't think there's any reason to... Uh... To not give them a chance to just throw more dudes on the board. Chad, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, see, this is even better because now we get to sack our cat and kill everything else. Joke's on you. That cat was going to die anyway. You take my cat, but I'll take yours too. I'm gonna wipe the board and kill your dudes. Oh, they're at 18, we're at 15. They've almost dealt as much damage to themselves as they have to us. <sighs> Crying out loud. <sighs> oh my god. I'm just gonna keep discarding Bounty of Might. Actually, I mean, we're just gonna play Generous Stray, which is gonna draw us a card. One random card is not gonna be better than Bounty of Might. I'll just get rid of the cat. That's a good point. Like, it's just, just consider it as if the, the kitty cat drew us Bounty of Might, and we just don't have the cat on the board. And I think that's just a fine situation to be in. Um, this stream brought to you by Frank's Board Wipes. If your board is messed up, wipe it clean with Frank's brand Board Wipes. Now with a lemony fresh scent. Do they have a lemony fresh scent? You know they do. Do I? You should. You should know it. All right, two one. I don't like this guy in the deck. Actually, this guy was one of the dudes we took out. Took out two blue is not an issue for this deck. Ugh. Ugh. Shut up and take my money. Hey, Mike, 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 Mike. Guess what it is? Day it is Hump Day. I have no. <laughs> That's correct. It's gonna be a gate. Are you ready? No, oh, it's a, it's not a gate. Look at that. One, not a gate. They have three cards. They didn't play anything or kill anything? I don't understand. Yeah, this guy should not be in the deck. I mean, he's a little too fresh-faced for my, for my, my, my opinion. My opinion? For my, for my liking. If two blue is not a problem, why are we not playing the surveil? That's what I literally said. I said that guy should be in the deck. Two blue is not a problem. That was like the exact, that was exactly what I was referencing. Yeah, they have three cards in hand, not five. And we can bounty a mite right now if we want to. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's 14 damage. It's a lot. Huh. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm going to throw up in my mouth a little bit because everyone has six or seven mana bomb flyers. And we're over here drawing shitty guild gates. Whatever, get in there. I would just not block, you just take five. It's pretty, pretty easy. And then you get to draw and kill this guy immediately. So, yep. Not even close. No one will... I mean, there's no there's no earthly way you'd ever block with Nicol Bolas here. And by Nicol Bolas, I mean Niv Visit. The bounty kills our recruit? How does that work? Yep. Are they, like, splashing this off of the... That's pretty ridiculous, dude. Oh, look, they get to shoot another thing. Oh, we would... Yeah, oh, we'd play this, they draw a card, and then shoot it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yikes. It's going to be yikes for me, dog. That is going to be... Well, we're definitely bringing in the uh, Crushing Canopy. They always have it all. Isn't that, the, isn't that how it goes? 
I think our deck is actually fine on, you know, card quality wise. It's like our deck is good, I think. Here we go. Some other five color bomb. Yeah, we keep floating out, though. Chamber Sentry for five, sure. Yeah, we keep, of course we keep floating out, which is weird because we don't have more than the adequate amount of lands. This is actually an interesting draw. card <sighs> they can literally just attack for six deal us one that's seven deal us five I think we're just dead which is funny because we just drew five cards off this yeah that's game All right, let's bring in this guy. Take out this fresh face bee hole. Bring in crushing canopy. What else did I actually just accidentally bring in this guy? Sure. You get out of here. Yeah, this seems better. I like 41 with just no uh with no fresh face recruit. I will play first. Oh, uh, it's actually fine. Watch now we're gonna get we're never gonna see a third land, you ready? I'm waiting for it. Oh, that was a good draw though. It was a very good draw. That was probably the best draw we could have asked for. Now we're going to hit a Gilded Gate and we're not going to be able to play Jenner Stray. I'm so upset right now. I'm so furious. No, I'm just kidding. Dead weight. Lucky, 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 lucky. Cold shot. Yep. Craig, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Sure. At least you got the third land. I guess that's true. Well, no fourth land, though. I guess it's just a rat wall. Because after all... You're my rat wall. You remember that song from Oasis, Rat Wall? You know, I don't think it went like that. Uh, yeah, well, it's different. It's interesting how you'd be wrong, isn't it? But what if I wasn't? We should have attacked there, but I'm I'm a little bit tilted. But I'm trying to I'm trying to suppress the salt, uh, or at least present it comedically so that it's valuable. Two hundred. Keep it packed in. Yeah, keep it compressed the salt. Oh, look, we drew a thing. That's nice. Uh, it doesn't really do anything for us, but, you know, it's a thing that we drew, and we have it in our hand now. Great. That's great. Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, there's actually two of the guy that smashes watermelons in that band. I don't know if... I don't actually... I don't think... I don't think Liam Gallagher is actually in the band anymore. I don't know if Oasis is even in a band, is a band anymore. Where is past members? Years active, 1991 to 2000. Oh, Oasis hasn't been a band for like eight years, nine years. Good lord. Yep. 
Well, look at that. We can kill this for two now. They get to draw a card, but that's life, and uh, I will gladly accept. That is a small price to pay. You get to kill my rat, too. Okay, so they basically draw a card and kill my rat. That's good. It's only a three for one when I kill your niv -mizzet. Seems good. I want both of these, but I also want lands. So I guess I have to put two ver two of my very powerful six drops into the graveyard. Ooh, my very powerful six drops. That's really obnoxious. Chronoxo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. First time catching the stream. Love watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Ajax is big brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate you saying so. Um, you know what? But these are both very, very good. You're right. So next time we're going to draw the Sphinx. And then we can maybe hit a land off the Generous Stray. Why doesn't your Defender have flying? I don't know. It is missed. Like, why can't it... Like, look how high it is. I don't get it. Ajax is big brother. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You know my miss gets high, boy. I, I did not. I did not know that. <laughs> I was not aware of this. Well, now you do. Can you tell me more about your mist? Make it tie. As a kite, my friend. Go on. Um. Here comes Chamber Pot, buddy. It's my Chamber Pot, buddy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Good lord. It's my chamber pot, buddy. This guy's really strong. Especially when they have uh, red, black, blue, and either green or white. Pop of my top, a Mr. Mist Buddy. Okay, well. God. I think they just had the better version of our deck, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah. This is really demoralizing, because our deck seemed very, very good. Like, all the individual cards are very good. We didn't have any mana issues, really. And, um... But we're just, like, getting dunked on. And it's kind of sad. Because I don't want to get dunked on. <laughs> Who do, though? Who do, do? Who do, though? Who do, though? Who do, though? I want to play this guy instead. I want to be able to set up these draws. Thank you. Neon Tokyo Rain, three months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Um, I don't care about this Gateway Plaza. I do care about 3-4 for gain lifeage. They only have one card in hand. Maybe we can just out-card them. I bet we can't. You might get dunked on, but at least you'll still... Get to be on a poster? What poster do I get to be on? Oh, they get to draw two, so now I get to put four cards. I got excited about the one card in hand, and then they had four. And then there were four. I don't know what that means. Because now he has four cards. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Okay. Did you... Were you born this drunk, or... Was it a process, do you think? It was a process. That's, that's cool, man. Marvel Mania. Hmm, fascinating. I'm Mr. Bucket. The balls pop out of my top. I'm Mr. Bucket. Oh, look, they killed another guy. That's great. Who's having a good time? One, two, three, four, five. They can deal us... Two and then two. I guess we just hope they don't have a disdainful stroke here, maybe? They didn't? Okay. Okay, man. Do you like D&D or Pathfinder? I could... I mean, I don't dislike them. I don't get a chance to play many board games, so... Mr. 
Mr. Bucket. The mics fall out of my top on Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth they will pop on Mr. Bucket. Buckets of fun. This this is about the time where uh, he starts to lose his mind, I think. Oh. This is about the time where he loses his mind. One, two, three, four. We can play route. I don't want to put the gatekeeper on top or on the second from the top because if we play route, it's just gonna get shuffled in. I'm just gonna play gatekeeper next turn. This is about the time. If you ever get a chance to grab Pathfinder Kingmaker, which that just came out. Still a few bugs, but there are patches every day. Very challenging. I added new curse words to my vocabulary. Wow. Is that um Is that a tabletop game? How do you patch a tabletop game? How does that even work? Take a patch. Uh-huh. Slap it on. Huh. Go on. That's really it. No, oh, that was boring. I think they're running out of gas. One, two, three. We can actually just play this guy instead and then just draw the route next turn. All of our guys, we're getting all our four toughness guys. This is also one, two, this is also three life here, which is nice. It's an isometric CRPG. Whatever, buddy. Whatever that means. Whatever, nerd. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> no, I think you are. You think you got him. I got him. He's basically dead. Actually, whatever, Poindexter. Are we winning this game? I don't even know what's happening right now. It's hard to tell what's going on. I think now we can play the route. One, two, three, four. And then we can actually play Rosemane Centaur. Ooh, I like that. Rosemane. <laughs> Oh, just gonna chump that dude, eh? Okay. Okay, get a little chumpage. Ch 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 chumpage. One, two, three, four. We'll be routing. Let's get Celestia Guildgate. And Black Black, blue, blue, green, white, white, red. Eh. Golgari Guildgate. One, two, uh, three, four, five. Like if you had a disdainful stroke, you would probably just. You're just gonna kill my floaty boy? You're gonna get a three to that guy. Okay, that's fine. This is nice because we already played the route, so uh, we can now we can put both these in the graveyard. If he waited to do that, we actually might have put. Uh, actually, like so they should have done that in response to the route, right? Because then we'd be shuffling away any cards that we wanted to keep on top. But oh yeah, we being able to choose both is pretty insane because it gets to kill all of these guys. The problem is they have one on this, so it does get to kill one of these guys, which is not ideal. We still get to attack for at least seven, and they lose pretty much everything. How big is this guy right now? Basically huge. He's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. That's a really... That's a really localized meme. <laughs> You're right. He is thick. You ready? You guys ready for it? It's going to be amazing. Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Go play the Guardian, too, there. Hmm. There we go. They always have it. Oh, Notion Rain? Okay. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. 
Notion Rain. How many times do you think you're going to sing that when that card comes up? Oh, every time. Every time? Wow. Why wouldn't why would I why would I not do that? You know? I don't know. Yeah. You don't, do you? You don't do you. Wow, that was amazing that you did there. Oh, and they have press fame. That's fantastic. Everybody's coming everything's everybody's winning here. This is nice. And by everybody I mean them, but you know. Draw two, surveil two. Oh, they have five cards. They have three cards left in their deck. Do they know that? Because they just put two cards into the graveyard. Are we just going to randomly win because they're stupid? They have five cards in total? That's pretty funny. And we have a lot of life here. Okay. Notion rain. Notion rain. Never meant to put you in the graveyard. Always wanted to put you into my hand. <laughs> Notion rain. Notion rain. So we do this. They go shoot four four. We attack for six. They only have this guy on board. They can't get this back yet. And then we can play like other dudes one two three one two th yeah actually this seems fine one a two a three oh we could have actually tapped a several dudes we could have actually tapped this guy this guy this guy and this guy to cast this first i feel like this guy should have been on the board but a couple turns first oh actually killing the flyer is interesting yeah that's still fine So these guys have three, which means actually this can block and profitably kill them, which is pretty sad. I don't think I'm interested in that. I kind of just want to play this guy. And gain eight life. I'll just pass here. I'm satisfied with that. They have to win with four cards. And we're at 17, so... Doesn't seem good. Yeah, I, I literally said I could have played Guardian. I literally said this. I said I should have played Guardian first with the creatures that were dying. And then I said it was supposed to... should have been on board several turns ago. Come on. Don't repeat the things I'm criticizing myself for. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Michael B... Michael B. Oh, after the Clarion? Yeah, see, it's again. Again, again, we're just missing missing all the value. Let me craft them plagues. Did you know? I could play Guardian first and second. So, you know. I'll choose you. I'm still not going to play it. Maybe I'll play it. I'll probably play it. I don't know. Every time I'm in a limited match like this against a control deck, I'm always like, there's a there's a part in the back of my head where I'm like, should I not overextend? Sometimes it doesn't actually matter, right? Like, there's nothing that can penalize us for putting a bunch of dudes on the board. I don't think. I wonder if Lurch... There's no Wrath in this set, right? There's no what? Wrath. There's the one that destroys all creatures with a converted mana cost of, like, something. Uh, text, destroy all, black, and guilds. Uh, destroy a creature with a converted mana cost three or less, which doesn't do anything against us. So, hmm. there are three wraths. Citywide bust destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater, but they're not going to be playing that obviously because they're a black. 
Clarion, which they're not going to be playing either. They're not white. I'm talking about in their colors, obviously. I'm not talking about in general. I kind of like Rhizome Lurcher. We have 17 creatures, which is more than I expected. I'm tempted to just take this out. That's super, super weird. What did we take this over? I don't even know. I don't think it was something important. I think it was. I think it was actually a pretty big pick. Are there any burglar rats in this set? <laughs> what are you saying right now? Are you drunk? God, he always gets... He's so drunk all the time. 42. Do we just do it? Ew, gross. Don't I, do it. I don't feel great about it. I'm going to take Plague Crafter out. It seems pretty bad against them. They have a bunch of shitty nerds. I am a drunk. I need help. I know, buddy. I know. I'm going to keep this hand. No, there's three six drops in it. That's cringy. This is actually better. I like this. Of course, they're just going to make us discard everything, but... I'm going to keep this on top because I'm not super greedy. Burglar rats. Burglar rats. Never meant to burgle all the cards, yeah. Oh, they're not going to burgle at us. That's nice. I might just keep Wall of Mist in hand to discard. Like, if they play Burglar Rats, I, I don't want to have to discard all the cards. So, And it's also better in the graveyard with Rhizome Lurcher. I think we're already ahead here. Did they run out of cards? Not officially. They had two cards in their hand and two cards in their graveyard. Or in their in their library. So, I mean, it's possible that we were ahead. Okay, this is this is enough. Uh, thank you, Lands. We, we appreciate your assistance. I think we're at a point where Burglar Rat doesn't do anything for us. Against us. Just run this out there. Why not? Because it's just not... It doesn't do anything. Cutting Wall of Mist in this matchup is probably pretty okay. <laughs> I mean, that's actually great for us. Did they bounce that? Yeah, just to surveil, I guess. I don't know. Weird. It's like, discard, it's like having a card that says Scry 1. Like this, this going back to our hand is actually just fine. That guy's pretty good. That's okay. He'll die soon. Well, he we hasn't seen any counter spells out of their deck. So if they want to, like, price of fame this guy, it's fine. This guy gets bigger, whatever. Oh, they're just going to crack that. I would say it's kind of like they unmulliganed, but this only nets you one card. And this actually was just a card in the graveyard. Like, this didn't do anything. So, they're still down a card, essentially. Hey, look, they killed it. That guy's an effing cop. <laughs> oh, man, that's pretty funny. Don't be a land. This guy's a 3-3 is just not good enough, so we're not going to play that. We'll just play Wall of... Wall of Schmist. Well, they're pretty far off Niv-Mizzet, which is nice. God, if we can draw our guild card, that'd be friggin' insane. Play it, draw two. All future guilds get... Get cantripped. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm trying to keep another planes in hand because they don't really want to throw away our Rhizome Lurcher. And we couldn't play a second land that turn because they don't they don't let you do that for some reason. Ba -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. 
Okay. This is actually fine because it makes our lurcher a four four. So I mean, you're 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 actually helping us out. I don't know if you knew that. Idiot. And if we draw a Clarion, like this guy is just gonna die anyway. So you're helping us out, idiot. Guess what I bought? It's a super eighty-eight system. <laughs> uh, hey, they look so goddamn alike. You, I, I say, hey, you want ice cream? They both say yes. How in the hell? All right, they have one card That's in hand now. Good. Shiggy the shiggy the shwiggy. Oh, we're doing well here. This is nice. I think four four is worth it. Uh, and we also can keep up price mana. Are we winning this game now? God, I don't want to say that because you know what happens when I say, are we winning this game? I bought it for $2 at Junkies. He did not. Swear to God. <laughs> That's a classic, man. All right, well, now they have Nicol Bolas mana. Niv Mizzet. God, I get those stupid dragons confused. Stupid dragons? Those base, those base is it dragons. Here we go. One, two, three. Those are your reds. <sighs> Never well, done. I mean, we have a thing to kill it, so it's fine. Yeah, but they still get to draw a card. Do they? Yeah, because we cast an instant. Oh, when every player casts it. Of course they have it. Oh, God. it's so They've drawn it every game. That's infuriating. Let's surveil. Definite Clarion, what do you do? I guess you can actually kill both of these guys. Guildgate I don't care about. Again, I wish this was a 5-5. Five five. As a 4-4, four four, it just gets eaten by this idiot. I think this is still worth having. I wish it was a more impactful card, but... The thing is, all their creatures seem to die. Other than Niv-Mizzet, all their creatures die to a Deafening Clarion, so... Oh my god. Why don't you crack that right now? That's interesting. I, I, I got the junkies for two junkies for two dollars, eh? You did not. Swear to god. <laughs> Just play it. Just come on down. Why do you use the use this man that's in the pool right now? Use it in the pool. I don't want them to double block here. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, crack your thing. Draw your cards. Draws, draws two cards. Cracks his locket. Draw the cards. Untaps. Draws his card. Goes to four cards. Has four cards in hand. Am I dumb or is Clarence... Yeah, Clarence is straight two for one now. Wow. I mean, it's a two for one. It kills these two, sure, but what's the what's your what's your point though? What is your point? All right, they have two cards in hand. We have two cards. Everybody has two cards. Everybody has two cards. I got it for the junkies at two dollars. Eh? How wow. in the hell? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's actually untap. I tap yeah, my five mana to play my Rizububu Centaur. Rizububu Centaur. Is Rosemane really too difficult for you to say? I couldn't actually read it at the time. Well, so I just kind of was like... <laughs> I was a little drunk at the time. I don't know if you knew that about me. I, I, I like to drink. I like beer. I drink beer. I oh. still like beer. I've drank do some beers. Do you drink beer, Senator? What do you like to drink, Senator? <laughs> Why is that relevant? I don't know. Oh, see, look, they just keep throwing these guys out. Have you ever drank so much you can't remember? Have you? Have you? Oh my god, dude. Why would you ask that? It's not her hearing. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. But I do like... I like beer. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> we've, drawn, we've seen 12 lands to 8... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 regular cards. Which I, and It's funny because we're still doing reasonably well however two, two, one two three four five six seven eight nine 
Yeah, I don't think we need Deafening Clarion here. The thing is, like, if, if we defi if we did Deafening Clarion, like, the sooner we do that, the sooner we can start getting in there. We do get to kill three dudes, which is nice. And they get to kill none. I don't know, man. I don't know. If they draw their, their chamber dude, we're probably just dead to that. So I kind of do want... I hate that we can't take advantage of the lifelink here. But I'm not going to trade a 3 4 for a 1 4, so. Sure. Boy. Double price of fame, Niv Mizzet. It's pretty good. They do have double price of fame, right? Like, they did have another price of fame somewhere, right? Maybe they only have one? Double Deadly Visit and Price of Fame. It's pretty good. Sure. Well, that is unfortunate, but Rosemane Centaur would have died either way, so... I'm a fan. Okay, it's okay. He's been sandbagging a removal spell for this. <laughs> and disdainful, so we haven't seen any counter spells, so... I mean, I don't know how this, they're, they're not really sandbagging it. They just used one, so. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, rat. How oh, radical! The thing is, they really just have to hit their chamber guy, because they can deal. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, dude. They're not going to deck themselves because they have the chamber guardian guy. So they're just going to be like, hey, play this for five. Next turn, I'll shoot you for five. Get it back. Play it for five. Shoot you for five. Get it back. I mean... I'm not really salty now. I'm just kind of... It's just infuriating. Like, can you can you literally not have 17 removal spells in your deck? I mean, it's good. Your deck's good. I don't fault my opponent for it. <laughs> oh, in response. Trigger on the stack. What is going on here? Draw four. They have two cards left in their deck. What in the hell? What in the hell? This is very weird. They have one card in their deck. Is there a way to shuffle in this format? Sure. I was, I was tempted to play this just because I wasn't sure if they'd have another burglar out. There were two in here, so... Yeah, that's fine. Is this the chamber guy? I think so. Yeah, sure. So they have one card and one... What is going on? Is this just like... Someone explain to me what's happening right now. Do they just not have enough win conditions? Return from your grave to your hand. Alright, so it doesn't like shuffle your library back. They could have the surveil card, like the blue enchantment that like shuffles your graveyard into your library. Yes. But I mean, like, it would have to be one of the last two cards. And play as an island. So they have one card left. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on right now, but...
They also have three minutes to win the game. So one card in their... They have no cards in their library. One card in their hand. And they conceded. Huh. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this... That whole thing was very confusing. I'm going to take this guy out. What do we bring in? This guy, definitely. Uh huh. That's, uh, yes, I've seen the, the Pulp Fiction mashup. Yes, I saw the SNL thing. I've seen pretty much all content relating to the whole the whole hearing, I would say. Pretty I much all the rel. You haven't seen which one? Either. Really? Oh, we're watching the SNL one after this. It's very good. I also like Rhizome Lurcher in the deck. I think that guy was fine. Fine, 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 fine. Let me see that. I don't want to take the wall out. I like the wall in the deck. I, I think the wall is fine. I think we should have boarded out in that matchup, but I think in general you want something to hold the ground early because our, our most of our game takes place in the late. So if we're playing against an aggro deck, I really don't want to die on turn turn X. Did you know that my girl likes to party all the time? I had no idea. Party all the time. Any standard X fancy? I have no idea. I haven't taken a look at standard. Um... Wow, watery grave show off. Look at this show off. Must be nice, a rich man. He's a rich man, and I know too far. You know it don't matter anyway. You can rely on the watery grave. You can rely on the shockland money. He's a rich man. And I know too far. That's a. I assume those aren't worth that much on Moto, though. Not really, just because there are a lot of them. But I think they're still worth something yeah it's like no it's a dollar water graves are a literal dollar that's pretty hilarious i guess that's pretty good a dollar i mean for a moto card yeah <laughs> wow that's so sad for a moto card that's great oh gross i drew a land with donkey dog and squee <laughs> My God, I can't even handle it, dude. Oh God. Oh, Steam Vents too. Wow, get a load of this guy. Is this another five color deck? Apparently. <gasps> dude, that's. A I got excited, but this card is insane right now, right? It's pretty good. Actually, what we could have done is play Forest. Play it off these three and draw a card with this one, and then just play this next turn and draw a second card. I think we missed one. I think we missed a card here, which is sad. You can rely on the Mike B's money. He's a rich man, and he don't do far. You know it don't matter anyway. Please. Mama's always in the kitchen with onions. That was not some kind of misogynistic uh, women belong in the kitchen remark. That was just a meme that we have on the on the stream about Mama being in the kitchen with onions. I don't know where it came from. It's a water sports drew original, but it's it's very weird. It's definitely something. Oh look, it's your boy. It's definitely something. Oh, Matthew Ward, please don't. Please don't, dude. Please don't. If we ever get to a point in the chat where we're uh, calling someone who comes out to speak about their sexual assault allegations, uh, their sexual assault experiences, and uh, you ever call them a sham, I will immediately ban you. Just to be clear. I want both of these. All 
All right. What's that boy do? You know what this dude does? 2-2 two, two for 1 with Defender. When you surveil, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Thoughtbound Phantasm. That's pretty good. And if it has three more counters, it can attack. So. Ooh, even better. Lying Death Touch Hexproof, huh? Yeah, it's uh, it's something. It's pretty good. I mean, I just hope I can block and you don't kill my guy. Just don't kill my guy, I guess. Hey, they killed my guy. <laughs> so I said, I said, I hope you don't kill my guy, and then they killed it. Isn't that cool? Man, great, just fantastic. I thought my guy was gonna live, but then you killed my guy. You can rely on Michael B's money. He's a rich boy. Just play this guy. Like, I really don't want to trade here. I could just play both of these. And then start attacking for three and making a dude every turn. Is that good? Feels I don't good. know. It's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, boy, 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 This guy is a 6-6, six, six, but we're just, like, trading off this guy. Tell Mike he needs to take care of his jalapeno children. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you do. I like this because next turn we can circuitous route for t for four and then still play Amara. So. This is where they play this. Then they play uh, Price of Fame on this guy to surveil. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're doing good. Can they just not have it one time? It's all I'm asking for. It's all I want. Is not have it one time. Let me just play both of these. Being able to float on over is pretty good. Float on over. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. we mustang uh, Mustang Michael. We do have a lot of life gain in our deck, so I'm I'm confident we can is the crawl guy on the sideboard? No, we put that in the main deck. That's nice. Then we see the wizard response to Jerry T thing in the part where they hinted at mailing a at Mailing Arena a part of the pro making Arena a part of the pro tour, that seems just terrible. All right, so the two counters because you're surveil. You put a really good guy on the board, I guess. Frank, are there any commander streams planned? Uh, not to my knowledge. I mean, that's not saying there's not gonna they're not gonna be here. That's just saying I don't have any planned. Uh, oh, Menace. Never mind. That don't work. Yeah, that's actually fine. So, we can do one thing here. Not two. But we might be dead if we do the other thing. So, I'm going to have to kill this guy, I think. Or, we can play Route and try to play this. I think we have to do that. Nope, wait, hold on. We won't be dead if we do that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Assume they surveil. I don't want either of these, to be quite honest. Do we play... Eh, it doesn't matter. We're not drawing a card. Yeah, I don't think you want those. Like, next turn we want to be able to play both of these. And the routes are going to draw us two cards. So, ideally, one of them will be an untapped land. How did our watcher... Oh, they just killed it. That's right. They, they took it down artfully.
Interesting. Oh, I guess I'm like, oh, interesting main phase use, but then like you have multiple surveil triggers, so. And they kept it on top. I'm sure that bodes well for us. I'm sure we'll be dead soon. And still has spells. Are you f <laughs> I can't even, man. Oh, I just can't. I just absolutely can't. Amazing. Actually amazing. The old double Night Veil Predator deck. Like you do. Seems good. You think? I would bring in Crushing Canopy, but let's not forget. That doesn't do anything. So we block here, we take six. Ugh, it's pretty bad. And we put them to 20, so like our hope is that uh, we can bust through for enough damage to... We're definitely bringing in Crushing Canopy, so... I guess our hope is that we bust through for enough damage that... Uh, we can just put Bounty of Might on this guy times three. But they're probably just going to surveil and kill us here, so... I'm, yeah. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you have a second Watcher in the Mist as well? Yeah, their deck's insane. I'm not going to be able to actually beat this, unfortunately. So, it looks like a 1-2 for us. Womp womp. Which is pretty annoying. Yeah, this is another matchup where Wall of Mist seems bad. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were thinking, making a 3-3 Death Touch Hexproof Flyer for 4. Like, it's just not really fun in any by any metric. Um, Yeah, I'll keep this. Any blue Guildgate is great. So many EDH tables are getting printed? Like what? Yeah, and, and where? Just like the Shocklands? That's about it. Island off the top into all guild gates. <laughs> Loving the gate deck. Unfortunately, I'm just going to destroy you with my uh, overpowered double Shockland Grixis deck. But yeah, I mean, cool deck. Idiot. <laughs> cool deck nerd. I'm uh, just going to crush you. Cool. Blue card. Disdainful stroke. Yeah, that's fine. This is what you get? What does that mean? Why are you sad, though? Why is that sad that so many EDH staples are getting reprinted? Doesn't that seem good? You got it. Also, Guild Lotus got a reprint in another set, too. Yeah, it was in so. Dominaria. Well, it's not in this set. I mean, if you're the guy hoarding all the Commander staples, then I guess it's bad for you, but... I like to have access to formats. Remember that time we had blue blue mana and gates in our decks? This guy's deck is insane. Yeah, I'm not sure I don't think I switch decks, just to be clear, so. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Literally a hand of un unplayables.
And it's funny because most of the cards that would allow us to play our spells in hand are going to come into play tapped, so we're at least two turns away from playing anything. Your ability to draw exactly the cards you can't play is uncanny. I agree with you. This has been consistent for quite some time. I'm not sure if it's just me, but... Yeah, I mean, that's one of the better gates, I guess. Still dead. They have three cards, I assume. They're all removal spells and flyers. Yep, can't even attack into your 4-4 defender. Oh. Billy, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. <laughs> yep, all right, cool. <laughs> I wish you all... The, like, I mean, it's so sad. Like, I mean, the... the I'm, they mean well. Like, it, it is what it is, but, like... Wish you all the best. Hope things keep going well. Kill your guy. Absolutely fucking utterly destroy you. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. The deck was pretty sweet, even if we didn't... Uh, even if we didn't do tremendously well with it, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like we had a bunch of good cards. And our gates were there, but, like, we just drew pretty poorly, I think. We could have mulliganed that last game. But, I, you know, realistically, I don't think we're going to beat that deck. Like, deck was just insane. I, I did use the F word there. Apologies for that if you guys are offended by if you if i if i've offended your delicate sensibilities with the f word i try to avoid it but uh a little tilting a little tilting for uh for that to happen anyway thank you guys for watching really appreciate it sign those like and subscribe button check me out on twitch and patreon if you are interested in supporting the content in other ways the links are in the description below and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching